Hello there, everyone. I'm Crazy Halo, and today we are taking a look at footnotes. So, what exactly does this module do? Well, it really doesn't tell you much, because there is a lot of lists, and this might look intimidating at first, because there really isn't much to this manual. But the rule where it all changes everything is very important. So what we need to do is, um, let's just read first. The instructions on the module are incorrect and should be altered. Find the bulleted um, groups list of the footnote symbol used on the module, and adjust the footnote element of instructions by one. Now, how do we how do we determine um, what to, what direction by one? If the sum of the serial number digits is greater than the last position of the English uh, language of the serial number's letters, advance one element forward. Otherwise, advance element uh, one element backwards. Let's take a look at our serial number. What is our greatest position? It would be whiskey, which is a 23. So, if the sum of our serial number character digits is greater than 23, we will advance one forward. It isn't, however, in this case, because 8 plus 6 is only 14. So, we are going to be advancing one element backwards, shifting um, what these instructions are. So let's find this uh, this footnote right here. These are the two double daggers. So let's go down here, and what we need to do is find the relevant bullet point of which the um, information's in. So in this case, battery holders. We're looking for battery holders. So these this is the list that's going to be applied to. So number of battery holders is what we're looking for. So it's in, going to be in this list, and it's actually right here as a matter of fact. So from this symbol right here, we are going to be advancing, we're going to be moving one element backwards. So instead of if the number of battery holders, it's going to be if if the last digit of the, seri of the bomb serial number is within two of the whatever button this might be, press that, um, press, the, uh, press the button that is up or down from the blank button. So I'm going to actually type this out. We need to type out the altered version. If the last digit of the bomb's serial number is within two of the, and we're going to pause here because now we must find the single dagger, as it says right here. Um, or the double dagger in this case, because that's two lines. So double dagger, and we're going to find top left in one of these lists, right here. We're going to move one backwards, meaning top right. So this, instead of being top left, it's going to actually be top right buttons number. Press the button that is up or down from the, and we're going to use this backwards papa or paragraph symbol. We're going to find the paragraph symbol list. We're going to find the list with green in it. We found it right here, green. We're going to move one symbol backwards. So that's going to, instead of being green, that is going to be blue. But so let's read actually what we just typed out. So if the last digit of the bomb serial number is within two of the top right button number, press the button that is up or down from the blue button. As you can see here, what we just did was we changed our instructions from instead of being the battery holders, um, instead of being on the top left button and being on the green, we have just changed it from the last digit of the serial number is within two of the top right button number, and now it's the blue button. So let's actually take a look of what we just figured out. If the last digit of the bomb serial number, that being a six, is within two of the top right but of the top right's button number, it is not in this case. It is a one, and that is five away from each other. So this does not. This first rule does not apply. 
So we're going to take a look at our otherwise rule. Otherwise, press the button that is left or right from. This entire sequence is going to be changing using these symbols. So, is up or down from, this is obviously going to be our list. Is left or right from, so let's go back one list, is exactly the bottom right button. Press the button that is exactly the bottom right button. That's a solved module. Let's take a look at another one. So all it is is really determining um, these special footnotes, um, finding the relevant list on each of the possible footnotes that the module is talking about, and either moving forward one or moving back one, and then reading essentially what the module is asking us to do. So, let's take a look. We have our latest character is going to be a tango, which is 20. These are obviously greater than 20. So we're going to be advancing one element forward in the footnote list. So, using our dagger right here, the first one is going to be a dagger. The number of batteries is less than or equal to. Let's find that in this list. So, um... Actually, if the number of batteries is less than or equal to, less than or equal to is right here. So we are going to be moving one forward. So instead, if this, this is saying if the number of batteries is within one of the D battery, but that's going to change the D button's number, press that um, is diagonal. First, let's write this down. Number of batteries is within one of the whatever this button number is going to be. So let's take a look. We have the uh, double dagger. It's going to be down right here. So we're looking for the delta. This is obviously the list. Moving one forward is a Charlie. Is within the C uh, button's number. Press, press the button that is diagonal from the, let's pause here because this is a foot, another footnote, we have a double asterisk, or, this is the four list, so we're going to be moving forward um, by one, that's going to be a two, from the two button. So let's take a look. If the number of batteries is within one of the C button's number, let's figure that out. So the C button's number is going to be one. We have six batteries, so this is not true. The number of batteries is five away from the C button's number. Or excuse me, is four away from the C button's number. I was looking at the yellow for my bad. But still, this is not true, so we are going to be not looking at that rule, and we're looking at the otherwise rule. Otherwise, press the button that is diagonal from, and this is the parenthesis sign, so this is obviously going to change. So we're looking for is diagonal from. Where can we find that? Is diagonal from. Let's move forward one, but we can't move forward one. So simply, in this list, we just loop back around to the front is left or right from. So, we're going to press the button that is left or right from the yellow button. So we're going to press this button, and that's a solved module. Let's take a look at one more. And after a while, this does get very fast, so we're going to look for... Um, this is obviously not greater than 24, so that's 6, so we're going to be moving forward back one. And I'm not going to type everything out now, because hopefully you can follow, with, follow along with me. So we have our double dagger, so two, we're going to move back one. If the four button is the same as, so four, um, it's going to be four now, um, same as, so that's a single asterisk, uh, same as, where is it? The same as, moving back one, uh, horizontally adjacent to,
So if the 4 button um, is horizontally adjacent to the D button, it is in this case. So press the button that is left or right from the top left, but that's bound to change. So let's find the um, the freaking two double daggers. So um, top left. So instead, we're going to move one back, looping around top right. Press the button that is left or right from the top right button. Top right, left or right. And that's a solved module. As always, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay crazy, stay cool, don't explode, and don't get lost in your footnotes. See you guys!